Thursday, Thursday, Thursday in the afternoon. Thursday, I don't care about you. Well, come again next Thursday afternoon. Thursday, Thursday doesn't even start. Thursday, it's Thursday night. Thursday, Thursday's just not far to go. Thursday, watch the walls instead. We can make plans. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Stephen Colbert's first episode as host of The Late Show was Tuesday night. He kicked off the show with a montage of himself singing the Star Spangled Banner with random people in various cities across the U.S. It ended in a ballpark with a very special guest. The umpire took off his mask and yelled, Play ball! And it was Jon Stewart. The other scenes were in places like Washington, D.C., Texas, a steel mill, hence the noise, and a bowling alley where Colbert rolled a strike. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. I'll get it, I'll get it. And the rocket's oh, red glare oh, 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 gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Bum, bum, bum. Or the land of the Quite a scene as Kentucky County Clerk Kim Davis was released from jail on Tuesday. She was met with a crowd of supporters that included two Republican presidential candidates. As Davis walked out on stage, Survivor's Eye of the Tiger blared from the speakers. Frankie Sullivan, lead guitarist with Survivor and the guy who wrote that song, issued a public Facebook post decrying Davis's use of the song. Sullivan said firmly that he did not grant anyone the rights to use the anthem at the rally. He is considering legal action. You know, celebrity death hoaxes pop up weekly on social media, but when Variety magazine says someone's dead, we kind of believe it. Except the Entertainment Industry magazine got one wrong Tuesday after it incorrectly published an article stating that director Terry Gilliam had passed away. Variety later corrected the error and tweeted, We're deeply sorry for the mistake. Uh Uh-oh. The Hillary Clinton campaign says that its candidate will attempt to show a little more humor. Yeah, right. That's like Donald Trump saying he's going to grow more hair. In a recent magazine interview, 18-year-old Kylie Jenner said, For me, age is just a number. A number she can't count to, but still just a number. Actor John Hamm and his girlfriend have broken up. Well, let's just pray that John Hamm is able to find some female companionship to help him through this difficult time. A new survey shows that people think black clothing makes them look more intelligent and attractive. Unless, of course, that black clothing is an Oakland Raiders jersey. In Toronto, a candidate running for parliament has dropped out of the race after surveillance video surfaced of him on his day job as an in-home appliance repairman urinating into a coffee cup, then emptying the cup down the homeowner's sink. And you definitely don't want to know what he did inside the dishwasher. A new ESPN investigation finds that the depth and breadth of cheating by the New England Patriots was even greater than anyone could have imagined. They're like the Ashley Madison of the NFL. And Tom Brady says that the rumors are false. His marriage to supermodel Giselle Bündchen is going strong. Well, if there's anyone you can trust to tell the truth, it's gotta be Tom Brady, right? 
Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. The Jewel Radio Network is proud to present the Frank D'Angelo Concert Tour. Thursday, October 29th at the Aurelia Opera House. Friday, November 13th at the Lac Lame Casino in Gatineau. Saturday, November 14th at the Corona Virgin Mobile Theater. Saturday, November 21st at the Garrick Entertainment Center in Winnipeg. And Saturday, November 28th at Stonewalls in Hamilton. Tickets and more information at frankdangelo.ca slash events.